Okay, well, the welcome. This is a show called Modern Times, uh, Winchester Galleries. And um, this show is, is a calm violation of many different imagery. Uh, there's figurative imagery and there's um, toys from when I was a kid, spin tops. There's um, uh, movie projectors because they were fascinating to me when I was young as well. And there's um, typewriters. There's um, and everything all the way to the uh, periodical table of contents. But the idea behind the show, although it took me a while, I was painting the show before I got the idea, but as I was working on the show, I was thinking, what is this imagery? Where am I going with this imagery? Why do I like what I'm trying? Why do I like what I'm trying to paint? And uh, I realized that the imagery that I was interested in had to do with things that had been um, inventions or major achievements were it, um, that happened sort of at the turn of the of the 1900s so we think of modern art so that's why it's called modern times based on Charlie Chaplin's ideas of the movie called modern times and how that little guy was caught up in there and um, I it was also sort of my exploration of how to use modern um, the modern lang language of art, I guess, with solid shapes, solid forms, geometric shapes. Um, that was really stuff that was prior to kind of art that was being done by people like Lauren Harris and people who were exploring sort of beyond the Impressionists. And yet before the 70s when art kind of branched out into many, many different areas. And it's an area, it's a period of art that most interests me. Interests me. Um, and then I just started to look at different things that I would find interesting to do as far as imagery goes. And I realized that there were things that were disappearing. There were, typewriters were disappearing and uh, the spin tops that I played with when I was a kid, those those I don't see around anymore. And uh, movie projectors, now we have all these, like you're holding a small little movie projector. And so um, I thought, I started to look at the imagery and I realized it had all the wonderful elements of geometric. And uh, if I applied it, paint the way I've been starting to explore uh, applying paint it could be very interesting as far as imagery goes so that's where I went with that and um, what you ended up with was um, um, I guess my way of exploring things that are disappearing but in a fun way I think I'm trying to keep it kind of fun I'm not I'm not lamenting it I'm not making it uh, modeling or I'm just saying here it is and that's that's what it is you know things change and things move on but it's a uh, it was an exciting time. I mean, that was a very exciting, it's explosive time. We think of computers and everything as an explosive period of, of time, and it is. But that period from the 1900s was extraordinarily explosive in terms of what people were thinking about and what they were trying to do. Everything from high heels, which became such a, a symbol of, of, um, of uh, not only wealth, but a, just a symbol of, of women's status and where women were going. I mean, now we, you might deride the high heel, but the, a high heel was a, it was a symbol of power. It was a symbol of, okay, if I have a high heel, I can get out in there into a man's world and I can, I can compete on the same level as him. And um, other elements, um, uh, toys, again, um, uh, the, um, believe it or not, like just the toys that came into that period. There was a whole, uh, I'd say almost a, a race for people to discover toys and to, and to redesign them and to make them into something bigger and better than they were. And you know, I guess Lego came out of that and Meccano and all those things, those whole kinds of concepts that came out of that. I almost did a whole series on Meccano because I thought it was so fascinating, you know, but I, the little holes, it'd be fun. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that one. But, um, uh, and then I, some of it has my history in it. Um, the typewriters, I was remem remembering my father was a, was a teacher. And uh, as he would type in the middle of the night, uh, marking exams or whatever, who knows what he was doing anyway, but I'd always hear these pounding keys. And I was realizing, you never hear that sound anymore. I'll work on my computer and you don't hear a sound. It's like, you know, except for the music I'm bringing in. But there was a pounding, there was a physicalness to it. And I liked that. And there was a whole, you know, a whole series of, of um, 
of literature that came out of that. You know, recently Ray Bradbury died, and uh, uh, one of the paintings in here refers to that whole concept of you know science fiction, that whole idea, that whole genre that became popular that would really had not been known before that time, and now we just take it for granted. It's it's unbelievable how much we take for granted about what's out there. That aside, uh, my paintings, as far as the technical side of them, are really uh, trying to minimize color, the way modern art does sometimes, trying to um, reduce things to their sort of their geometri uh, geometric simplicity around them. And I've also got this idea that um, in order for colors to go side by side or to work with each other, they need to be their own strong voice. So each, but without clashing. So there you have a, a good performance, but each color has its own solidity. It's, it's very tenacious. It wants to be where it is. And um, my job is just to try and figure out where each one is going to go on the painting. So that's basically it. And um, I hope it's, uh, it's been well received. I hope it's, uh, people find it interesting. And I have, don't know where it'll go to, but it's a continuation of something that I have been exploring for a while. So, and uh, it continues from the, my last show I had here at Winchester as well, I think. It's just a slight transition. Yeah, so and that's about all. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Except thank you, Winchester, again, for having me. And uh, it's always great to have a show here. There's always interesting people come out to see things. So, Thank you. Great.